Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Rebecca and today I am sharing with you 20 Dollar Tree DIY room decor and home decor craft ideas to try in 2023. I hope you enjoy these home decor ideas. They are very easy DIYs and most of the items are from Dollar Tree. So let me know down below which one of these ideas is your favorite and let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get started with the first DIY that I want to share with. This one is actually a little bit of a recycle project using some paper towel rolls, or you can actually also use toilet paper rolls for this. You can cut them with scissors or use a paper cutter like I did here to cut small, approximately quarter inch thick slices of your cardboard tubes. And I collected a whole bunch in order to do this project. And for the first project, I actually just took a canvas board from Dollar Tree and kind of squished the tube to make it more of a more elongated, like an oval shape and just kind of super glued these onto the canvas, creating a pattern. You can paint over them if you want. And then I wanted to move on to a little bit larger project. This one is the 11 by 14 canvas from Dollar Tree, which I decided to create some little flower pattern designs on here. And I really liked just the simple brown and white contrast on here. I just thought it was so simple and beautiful. And so I then decided to go on Amazon and order a full size canvas to put on the wall and decorate with that with the same little flower design and I needed quite a few toilet paper tubes to do this but other than buying the canvas and using a little bit of super glue on the edges in order to glue them down this was a very easy and very affordable project and I love how it looked you can add this in any room nobody who's seen it has believed me that it was cut from paper towel and toilet paper roll tubes until they went up very close and examined it right up close because when you stand back and look at this it looks absolutely beautiful and nobody would ever guess let's go ahead and move on to the next one this diy is a vase that's inspired by this one i saw in at home so i took a glass vase from dollar tree along with a single bouquet of some small cherry blossom flowers that i also picked up in dollar tree just pluck off those flowers, trim the back of the stem, and then glue them on around the neck of the vase. Then you can go ahead and spray paint the whole thing. And once it's dry, come back with some metallic finish acrylic paint, and you can touch up the edges of the flowers for a subtle bit of glam. And I just love how this looks. Plus the spray paint actually makes the flowers pretty stiff. So they kind of feel more like they're part of the vase and they don't even feel like fabric anymore. of these laundry baskets from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut out about half of the little plastic bars on the side and we're gonna try to give this a little different look I want to create more of a blanket basket that I can use outdoors rather than like a laundry hamper <laughs> if that makes sense so what I'm really cutting out of the basket is this section and this section so two of these and basically then we have one here one little bar cut the next two and then we have the next one and then moving down same thing except i don't only cut these two i've decided to actually cut the neck the middle bar here and the bottom two and then i spray painted the whole thing with a matte black spray paint it adheres really well and it'll be great for using outdoors you could leave it like that and use it on your patio or somewhere outdoors just the way that it is but i did want to take it a little step farther and cover those handles so i wrapped some nautical rope around them and then just used hot glue on either end to tuck in the ends of the rope and finish off the handle and then i wanted to actually give it kind of like a rope handle of its own not just cover the basket handle so i took another piece of the nautical rope on each end and i just like double knotted that underneath i made like a long loop for a handle and then on those knots i actually just used hot glue so that that way it doesn't fray it doesn't come undone and you'd be able to easily like pick up your basket like this i guess they're more decorative than anything but they are going to work if i want to pick up my basket of blankets so this will be really cozy to keep outside because our summer nights in connecticut 
definitely get chilly. Like, I need a blanket if I'm gonna sit outside. For the next DIY, we're going to make some paper palms. I think these are so pretty for decorating with any time of year, really, but definitely for the summertime. I'm taking some paper to do this. I've got brown paper from Dollar Tree, but you could definitely reuse your Trader Joe's bags or any like paper grocery bags and simply make your palms out of that. So I'm taking kind of a rectangle or square and I leave the sides a little bit straight and then go up a few inches and then begin to curve and point in toward the top. So the best way to describe this is picturing kind of a triangle or a half, like a semicircle sitting on top of a rectangle. So you can make these different shapes like more rounded or more pointed at the top, totally up to you. But anyway, then you're gonna just take this piece and begin folding it over um, one way and then the other, one way and then the other again. Just keep going back and forth like this and basically fold it accordion style all the way across. I started out trying to make about half inch folds and somehow they seem to get wider as I go. I don't know what it is, but I have to be so careful. Just enjoy it. Have fun with this. You can maybe get the kids making them with you if you want. It's kind of like folding paper fans, basically. Now you could also cut down um, like V's down into the folds in the tops of the palms if you want to get more of like a pointed jagged edge so there's just multiple options here and at the bottom i used either hot glue or super glue gel i think i like the super glue gel the best i glued a little wood skewer stick in there to stand them up on and then i also trimmed this part here on the front and the back at the base of the paper fan palm leaf basically where we glued it together i just kind of tried to trim it in kind of gives it like more of a tapered look so it looks a little bit more like a natural palm leaf or palm branch but once you stick these down inside your vase you don't really see that part so much and i just think this came out really really pretty i've been wanting to make these for a long time and i love how they look on to the next diy i'm taking a planter dish here i guess it's like a little water catcher i've got a hole drilled in the bottom of this little planter container from dollar tree and i have some of this aged copper paint once your planter dish is dry you can add some marbles or stones dollar tree has a variety of um gemstones and river rocks that would be really beautiful i almost forgot to come outside and give you an evening view of our little candle centerpiece arrangement and i just love how cool these look i guess they're as close as you get to waterproof for an outside candle so before i go to bed i needed to come out here and share this with you guys look how awesome these look um i think they came with a timer wow so cozy and romantic out here with that flickering flame just super cozy for the evenings for summer nights sitting outside i'm gonna see if i can put a link for them also down below in the description box because i think these are just Wow, really stunning. And I know most of you already probably know Dollar Tree carries wreath frames. And this is one of the larger, I think it's an 18 inch wreath frame. And I like to start by wrapping it in like some burlap ribbon or pretty much any roll of nine foot ribbon that Dollar Tree carries. It just gives me a nice base to then go ahead and glue all of my florals onto with some hot glue. On this particular one, I decided to actually add some green fern leaves as a base and then add the flowers on top of it. I was kind of doing this for like Valentine's Day decor and spring decor and something that could definitely carry me into summer decor as well. So it would be very versatile to use through a very good portion of the year. But Dollar Tree does carry lots of seasonal flowers and just different leaves and floral picks. So these wreaths are easy and fun to make and you can totally customize them for any time of the year. Base from Dollar Tree along with some of these little beaded pearl stickers. I'm just going to cut off little 
um, long strips of these little pearl stickers. They have an adhesive on the back. I cut these out and I started with pieces of nine little pearls above that one or below, I guess, depending. I have the vase upside down here. So below it, I did five more little pearls and just space those in between. Basically, just I cut different amounts and then kind of staggered them. Once the stickers are on, I spray painted the entire thing on here with some smoky beige spray paint. I think it was like in a satin finish. And I think this turned out really neat looking. It's so perfect for me to pop a plant down inside of it. And that way it actually catches any water runoff. You could definitely add fresh flowers in here. That would be beautiful. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And for this one, I'm taking a planter from Dollar Tree along with a bunch of these little wooden Jenga pieces. So the little blocks I'm gluing on here kind of sideways, like lengthwise all the way around. Once they're all glued on, I'm going to go ahead and paint some of these blocks. I'm going to use some white chalk paint along with some metallic copper chalk paint. Once these have all dried, I would come back and brush the remaining ones with the same um, diluted white chalk paint. And while they're wet, I decided to sprinkle on some espresso powder. For this planter, because I left the bottom drip pan on and I already attached the wooden blocks like all the way down onto it. So I had this other um, little dish, also this little planter from Dollar Tree that fits really nicely inside the red one. And I feel like the color matches really nicely. So let's just add some holes right into, into this one. I think that's small enough. I have a little too big of a drill bit. Um, Mike and I were looking and we couldn't find our smaller one. So I think, I think that's gonna be sufficient. I don't want too much dirt falling out of here. So we're just gonna pop this right back in here and then we'll put our dirt and get our, our plant in there. And then just get it in a smaller size, even something like a pothos plant, which I'm gonna show you later in this video, they can be much more affordable when you get them a little bit on the smaller size and they grow incredibly fast. And in my experience, they are a pretty low light plant and they just gr grow super well. Like you, even if you forget to water them, they can just do well and grow incredibly fast, like I said. So really easy to maintain and really affordable. And they make such a beautiful statement piece. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And now for this one, I'm taking a bunch of these circle styrofoam, I guess they're like wreath forms, and then just glued them all together with a little bit of hot glue, stacking them one on top of the other. Now you can kind of make this as high as you want to. Now I'm gonna paint over the whole thing with some white chalk paint and that's gonna give us a base. And then we're going to come back and spray paint that with kind of a stone textured finish. I'm gonna try to link everything that I can either down below or in my Amazon storefront. Now I also made a little bottom portion for it, taking one of the little garden saucer trays from Dollar Tree and that's really cool. It's gonna be the perfect water catcher for our plant to run into. And it actually fits really perfectly underneath this tower of circles. And it kind of completes the bottom. It just gives it a little more rounded finish on the bottom and makes it look like a complete unit. So I, I love how this turned out. And then the perfect thing is popping in a little plant in the top. So I've got this plant here. This is the Paphos plant I was telling you about. And it's so beautiful. This planter fits right into the top of these styrofoam foam wreath forms so you can just set it in there and any runoff will just catch in that tray underneath and it's great because the pothos plant will grow and it will begin to flow and hang down and cascade down onto the floor it's just going to be so lovely so i cannot wait for this little plant to start growing one of these little metal farmhouse type planters from dollar tree i've got some of this cotton nautical rope from dollar tree and i actually took the three strands apart because it's kind of twisted together. I took them apart into the three individual strands so that I could then braid them. And you'll see, I had to kind of connect a couple pieces together because I used one whole piece. I think they were like nine feet long or so. And then I had a portion of one left and it was not enough to finish. So basically, if you just get two 
two bunches of the rope. That should be the perfect amount. I braided those, went all the way around gluing my braid onto the planter. And then I also came back, took a little more rope for the handles and just took one strand out of the three that are twisted together in the rope, took one strand and I did them around the handles to give them the same like cotton weave rope look glued that on there. I also made a little tassel with another piece out of it, did a tassel on each side, and then just combed out all of the fringe. If your fringe is not hanging flat or straight, just wet it and then comb through and it should hang pretty nicely. And then you can leave it like this or if you want to finish it up, I ended up adding a nice little gold border on here. I took some of this ribbon that I had and cut the little metallic gold wire trim off of the edge and actually just hot glued that on toward the bottom and made a nice little accent around the lower part of this vase. So it's got like a little metallic gold accent with the tassels. I feel like it's just really pretty and unique. Definitely a lovely modern boho planter decor piece. Moving on, we're gonna make a simple tiered tray using this pack with one large and one small stove top covers from the dollar store. Turn these upside down, glue a glass candle holder in between, and you can leave it just like this. But for mine, I decided to now paint the glass riser part in the center with some metallic copper paint, and then use a couple of the wooden snakes from Dollar Tree that they have in the toy section. And actually, I'm not sure if they're currently in the toy section or in the craft section. You guys, let me know down below if you've seen them recently where they were. Um, I, can't, I can't remember where I saw them recently. But anyway, I glued those around the edges of the tray to finish them off. Of course, I did remove the head and tail part and cut the wooden pieces down so that they fit. I just think that it added a really unique finish to the tray. And then you can also paint or stain the wooden border now if you would like to, or you could just simply leave the wood natural, completely up to you. For the next one, I wanted to create kind of a decorative pedestal dish. So to start, we're taking one of these wire plant hanger baskets from Dollar Tree, and I just used some wire cutters to trim off the hooks as best I could that are on the top there. And then I painted this over with chalk paint. Honestly, in hindsight, I think I should have just done spray paint. It would have been a smoother finish. And I just, I feel like it would have looked better overall. So spray paint is my recommendation, but you know, work with what you have. You can place this on top of one of these little candle holders from Dollar Tree. And I think it made a really cool pedestal dish. Of course, definitely use a bunch of hot glue if you want to really like attach that on there, but you don't even really need to if you're just going to set this up on a shelf. You can grab some of these foam balls from Dollar Tree in their toy section. And as long as you position them so that those seams in the foam ball are not showing. These actually look really cool. You could also get some foam balls and then cover them in thumbtacks, just like overlap all the thumbtacks as you go. We used a few boxes of gold tacks from Dollar Tree in order to do this. I think this also looks really beautiful. Anyway, the next one is a vase now inspired by this one that I saw in at home. And all you need is a Dollar Tree vase and some spray paint. I did the top half in white. And then once that was pretty much dry, I came back and did the lower half in gold. And the best part about this is that you actually want the, the gold part to come up and overlap a little bit on top of the white. So a little bit of overspray there is perfect. That's how you're going to get this look. So it's insanely easy to do. It has to be one of the easiest DIY decor pieces you could ever make. And I love how it turned out. For the next one, I'm taking four of these wooden boards from Dollar Tree and gluing them together with hot glue. And then I took one of the little wooden snake toys from Dollar Tree. Just make four pieces that all are the same length. 
I used to cut these with scissors and it can be a little bit tricky and then I realized that if I just took a knife and carefully like sliced it nice and neat it actually works a lot better easier quicker faster glue them on and they make these cute little riser like feet for this wooden riser so you could put a candle on here I'm just putting a little plant here I got this vase in Goodwill and I have some of this little boxwood greenery super cute on my bookshelf here let's go ahead and move on for this one I found this little plastic vase in Dollar Tree and I thought that the design like that ribbed texture was pretty cool so i started out i couldn't figure out how i wanted to do it exactly i started doing some white chalk paint and i wasn't sure if i wanted to leave some of it black but ultimately just decided to do the entire thing with the light color chalk paint as a base and then go over that with the metallic copper chalk paint um i think it just it, it's a little bit brighter when you're putting it on top of the white chalk paint instead i feel like it just brings out a little bit brighter of a color and then you can leave it just like this it looks like a clay vessel which I love the look of you can pop some flowers in here some greenery or just use it on a shelf just as it is you could also come back and use like some fabric paint like some of that puffy paint and create some patterns or designs on your vase if you want so many options and ideas and i think what i'm actually going to do for this one is i wanted to try hanging something kind of around the neck of the vase simply using a little bit of twine and creating a little tassel to hang down here i love the look of that you could do it with like a cotton rope or more with the brown jute rope totally up to you but i just love how this looks and i think it's a perfect accessory for our bookshelf so this one is kind of a redo on one that i did back several months ago i took two candle holders and two bowls from dollar tree and i glued the candle holders to the bottom of these bowls now what we're going to actually do is take these two sets that i made and i'm going to glue the two candle holder parts together so i basically have an upside down bowl with one of these candle holders on top of that another candle holder on top of that and then another bowl right side up sitting on top of that candle holder so this really makes a nice kind of pedestal raised taller floral arrangement which i think would be so beautiful in your home as a centerpiece as a statement piece it would also make a really really beautiful wedding table centerpiece i think this is just so stunning and gorgeous and definitely it looks way more expensive than a dollar tree piece now i already painted these over white but what i did come back and do was take some fabric paint just some white puffy paint which you can get in dollar tree this one is a larger bottle that i actually got on amazon but you can definitely use the puffy paint from dollar tree you're basically going to just make some designs on here if you want to get the look that i made just make some different swirly designs kind of like a floral swirly pattern to do that i basically made some large s shapes and smaller s shapes also some little v's v shapes and some dots and then off of the larger s shapes you basically kind of make some little curly c's coming off in both directions and hopefully that kind of makes sense just have fun with this i think it just added a really cool texture but once all this was glued together i did go back and just give it a little bit of another coat of white chalk paint just to really touch everything up and make it really fresh and bright and cover up any glue that might have come through. I'm gonna add some floral foam now into that top bowl. And in order to make this stay in place, I used hot glue on the corners of the floral foam because the bottom of it doesn't actually connect with the bottom of the bowl. It sits with the four corners touching the bowl. So I used glue there to pop this in. This amaranthus is the first thing that we're going to go ahead and use and I would get them in either a white or green color. I'm going to make this flower arrangement really neutral. I cut off each individual flower part and then bent the stem around kind of like a C, hooked that like made it like a little hook shape and stuck them in around the edges of the, the top of that floral foam block and just kind of tried to space them out evenly but this way 
they're kind of coming out the top and then they're angled downward so they really will hang down you could take a look while you're in the store side note here <laughs> take a look at the flowers on these and try to get ones that aren't too bent some of them are really beautifully shaped and then other ones look like they've spent too much time crumpled up in a cardboard box somewhere so try to get ones that have a good shape if you can but they're somewhat flexible for you to bend them but if you can find some that you know hang more nicely um, that will help you now i'm gonna add some beautiful white lilies in here i got a pack of those from dollar tree um, one or two bouquets of those and then another bouquet or two i think this was freesia um, i don't know if that's actually what this is but anyway i'm going to use some of those in the center to give it a little bit more height fill in with the lilies all around that and i also use some of that freesia some sticking up in the center and then other ones i basically put in on an angle so that they're sticking down so they kind of look like they're hanging down in the arrangement and i have plenty of flowers cascading down it's so beautiful i spaced them in between that amaranthus and this just came out so so stunning i really really love this one anyway here is how this one looks let me know where you would put this one in your home or if you would use it for a wedding because i think this would make a fantastic wedding table centerpiece we are on to the next one and this one i wanted to give you guys an idea here so to make this from dollar tree they have this little white pedestal candle holder and then you could glue one of these floral foam pieces on top of that and then glue a glass candle holder on top of that and that would work but i wanted to get this with a little bit more height so i'm actually doing it using one of these narrow glass bases from target now i think it was just a dollar or two in target so it's not gonna cost you much more to make but it's a little bit taller and more narrow dollar tree does have one like this but it's much wider so that's up to you it could totally work um dollar tree does have the seven inch and the nine inch clear glass vases so lots of options for doing this i glued on this round floral foam piece on top of it and then i glued the round glass candle holder on top of that i decided to just cut off pieces of this greenery that i already had it is originally from amazon i've had it for a few years but i'm going to stick that in all the way around leaving plenty of spaces in here now to fill in with some other flowers so the rest of my flowers are pink and peach colored roses from dollar tree along with some white hydrangea and i'm just gonna cut off those and stick them in here i did trim off the end of these ferns just so that they wouldn't be dragging on the ground or on the table <laughs> um I wanted them to just come down close to the table but not quite be dragging on it but you just pop a candle in here now and i think this is so so pretty this would be another fantastic wedding centerpiece you could for sure use this anywhere in your home or as a table centerpiece but it would really be some very beautiful wedding table decor and make the perfect wedding centerpiece moving on to the next one i'm taking four of these wooden crates from dollar tree i actually had these set on my counter for my coffee bar back over the holidays and we are just going to glue these together end to end i actually already gave them a little bit of um, a little bit of a stain with some antique wax back over the holidays and now we're gluing them all together and we're going to use them for our centerpiece now and this is going to turn out as a beautiful centerpiece to use throughout spring and summer so let's go ahead and add some floral foam in here i did this with just a single one dollar block of floral foam i got the rectangle size one and i cut it lengthwise and then i cut those um, two pieces in half vertically so i cut the whole thing horizontally in half and then i cut them again like vertically in half if that makes sense 
So I got four pieces out of that $1 block of foam and that was enough to stick in here. If you wanna make it like a little extra secure, you could definitely use a little bit of hot glue in the bottom. I did not just because who knows, you know, six months from now, I may be making a completely different thing out of this. So I don't plan to move them around and the foam is staying in place. So you don't really have to glue it, but you know, if you really want to, by all means, make it more secure, add hot glue in the bottom. <laughs> But I had some of this lamb's ear. Sometimes just use what you already have. And since I already have this lamb's ear left over actually from over a year ago, I had used it in our Christmas tree and I haven't known what to do with it since then. So I'm gonna use it cutting the pieces in half here so that I can kind of get more pieces out of it and stick them in kind of around the outside edge of this arrangement. And then I'm gonna fill in the center with these light pink peach colored roses from Dollar Tree. I was actually thinking of mixing in a brighter pink. I thought that would be really pretty, but then I actually started second guessing myself on that because sometimes I just think when you go with a one color flower, it, it just looks more high end to me. Using one color sometimes just feels so much more high end and classy. And even though the flowers are really cheap and inexpensive, it looks a lot more high end. Anyway, here is how this one turned out. I tried it out on our dining room table and I think it looks so beautiful for spring. However, it also makes a really beautiful piece to put up on a mantle or over the fireplace. And I think I'm actually gonna be using it throughout Valentine's Day and into spring. Right now, I have it up on the mantle. So let me know, do you like it better on our dining table or on the mantle? Either way, I think it is a beautiful spring centerpiece and you could definitely switch out your flowers to a different color if you want something brighter, a brighter color for a summer table centerpiece. It is super versatile and beautiful. Moving on to the next one, I took this one long sign from Dollar Tree. They have different ones for every season, so just use whatever you can find. I'm going to glue this kind of um, face down on top of these three wooden blocks. Now on the top part, I wanted to make this look more like real wood, so you could actually paint on here and just create like paint the lines to make it look like wood um, I decided to actually go all out and take some jumbo wooden popsicle sticks I think they actually call them wood craft sticks and I got them in um, Walmart actually but you can also use the jumbo popsicle sticks that Dollar Tree sells. I cut the ends off of these and then cut them in different lengths to glue them on. I just hot glued them on here, but you will have to work with it a little bit just to get all your pieces the same size and then glue them on. And then I just brushed on a little bit of antique wax and used that to give me a, a kind of a light wood stain effect so i really really love how this came out i think it came out so beautifully and it's something that you can dress up and decorate and embellish throughout the year for whatever holiday or season. I collected a bunch of little votive holders, candle holders, little glass jars. These are all from the dollar store. So they're basically in the colors that I have around the house. I, I've just got this arrangement of kind of earth tones and it's very eclectic. This is such a unique and eclectic centerpiece. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And so you'll need three of these wooden trays from the dollar store. I am gonna glue them together using wood glue on one side, hot glue on the other. I'm gluing three of these boxes or trays together. And then I took four of the wooden Jenga blocks at each end. I just glued them together. I made this long two by two rectangle here, which is just gonna be perfect to put on top of the star at each end. And not only does it cover up that little star cutout, but it actually kind of makes it look like it has a little handle on the end. So I really like the effect of that. I think it completes the look and just, you know, it makes it look more finished in my opinion. So you guessed it. Here I come with some antique wax again and just kind of creating a little bit of my wood dimension on here. Once that's dry, you're gonna take three of the little like buckets or pails. It has some um, twine or like jute twine wrapped around the top. Three packs 
of puffy alphabet stickers and three of these um, pails. And then I'm just gonna spell out the word flowers in like a little arch on here. And then once I stick those little stickers on, I press them on really well. And now we're gonna go ahead and paint over all of the galvanized metal. I did not paint the inside because nobody's really gonna see that, but I did do the outside part and I basically mixed together mostly metallic copper chalk paint, but I mixed in a little bit of my Java chalk paint, which is a dark brown. I mixed a little bit of that in there with the copper just so it wouldn't be so orangey. It would tone it down a little bit and make it a little bit more of a brown orange um, like a darker rust color and yeah i just didn't want it to be too too orangey i wanted to get it a little bit darker so get the color that you could like and if you're not happy you can just continue sponging on more paint until you get it the color that you like and i kind of went back on one or two of them and i did a second coat because i wanted to make it a little bit lighter or darker until I got them also to be kind of uniform. I am using my favorite peonies from Amazon. I'm gonna link these below. These are just my favorite fake flowers ever. I'm actually mixing two colors in here. I've got a pink one and a peach one, and they actually have a different name than that online. They're not called pink and peach, but that's what they kind of look like. So I'm gonna link both of them down below. So in case you're trying to recreate this combination, you would be able to order both sets and get that same look. This would make a fantastic centerpiece anywhere around your home. It is so, so pretty as a spring centerpiece. I think that these colors could also work for summer and fall centerpieces and decor. They are so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below which one of these ideas was your favorite. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these type of Dollar Tree DIY decor crafts. And if you are new here, consider subscribing before you go. I'd love to have you. As always, I am wishing you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you soon in a new video.